Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Today we're celebrating the art of Meryl Teradash and how she's inspired by wind and light and the uncontrollable forces of nature. We're celebrating her art in particular because of her sculpture Wind Dancing, which the museum acquired last spring. And this exhibit, like all exhibits in the Kaleida Zone at the Long Island Children's Museum, doesn't only show the art of an artist, but also the process that he or she went through to get there. I am an abstract sculptor, and I'm interested in working with the wind, catching the wind, and catching the light. What's important to me is that I create the piece, but that the wind or the light conditions on a particular environment or installation brings the piece to life. In the beginning, the idea is spontaneous. In the end, what people see is spontaneous. But in the middle, it's figuring out how is this going to work. And that part is difficult, challenging, and always gives me something unexpected. A typical painter will paint a real big, large thing on the wall and tie it up and hang it on a little tiny line. But in sculpture, it has to be real, it ha can't fall down, and it has to work. Uh, and so we took her design abilities and we took my idea of strength and material strength and, and uh, motion and we married them together with her knowledges and my knowledges and uh, we became quite a team. Most people building an, uh, a train or a bridge, they want it to look like a train or a bridge. With Merrill, and you're building one of her sculptures, she doesn't want it to look like the Brooklyn Bridge. It has to be beautiful lines, and the hardware has to disappear, and she doesn't want to see a bunch of nuts and bolts and beams and braces, and, and it all has to look very spontaneous, but it all has to work absolutely wonderful. And that's, the, that's where the technology gets very intricate, very complicated, and tricky. After I discovered acrylic, I discovered prisms, and I found that if I bent the prism, I could bend the spectrum that the prism made. And that was a marvelous discovery. To catch the wing, I just added wings to my prisms. And that became translated in metal. I love the effect of stainless steel, but I love the effect of lightweight aluminum because it's strong and it can catch the wind. There were three dancers that allowed me to photograph them as well as the dance instructor. It again has the same shapes as a lot of these other small models. Um, so, you know, it captures the leg, it captures the arms, there's swirl going on, there's the hair, the prisms. Um, it's abstract, but at the same time, I can look at the photograph, I can look at the, the sculpture and really see them as the same. Both my parents, they loved playing music around the house. My mom was always playing piano, and I guess I got drawn into it. Well, like, what I like between my mom's artwork and jazz is, like, there's unpredictability about her work. Like, you know, she uses a lot of like natural forces, like, like the air and like, I guess all sorts of weather, rain and various elements. And like with jazz, it's mainly improvisation. So you have no idea what's gonna happen. That's, so it's like, I like how that's similar. They've been building sculptures together for almost 20 years now. So it's, I mean, ever since I was young, it was a chance to watch them do it. It's very exciting to watch them work. It's very exciting to, bounce, watch them bounce ideas off of each other and see what ends up being created in the end. This is a perfect location for it, being 
here on Long Island, right in the water, right where the wind is. It's, it's really ideal. When I was in high school, one of my science fair projects, which I always was very good at, was uh, a project dealing with stainless steel. So he would teach me all the different aspects of steel versus stainless steel and their corrosive properties and their metallic properties, and it was always exciting to see. So it's nice to take it from that form and see it in this form in such a fluid and beautiful way. You know, it's amazing. I'm a computer science professor. <laughs> yeah. So the apple doesn't fall far from the tree? I guess not. I'm his oldest, so. <laughs> I, I like how Meryl makes the wind visible with her art. She really wants to get a grasp on the wind, and she does that very effectively. And with this exhibit, we're hoping that the kids will discover that, that unseen power too. Life is totally unpredictable. The artist cannot control life, but the artist can control the shapes that they make.